Hello everybody, welcome back to Assassin's Creed. We are now in the extra stuff. Uh, for the beginning, I think I'm going to show you these symbols and look into what their meaning is. Um, this is an Aya... This here is an Aya Province symbol, in other words, an all-seeing eye. Okay, creepy. What's that conspiracy doing right here again? Then again, this whole game is about conspiracy. Oh yeah, I'm using the guide of the Assassin's Creed rookie as a source to understand all this stuff. Uh, this is showing a pyramid of some sort, the Pyramid of Eden. You said what this says it is, whatever that means, Pyramid of Eden, but I guess it makes sense. An apple that can control our wills is up top and a bunch of eyes, which shows a sort of makes a plan, which doesn't make much sense, almost. And uh, random squares of letters right here. It actually me means the artifact sent to the skies to control all nations to make us obey a hidden crusader. Do not help them. Okay, so that's what it means. A warning, I guess, of some sort. Do not help them. In other words, they're evil. Now, there's a... Over here is another symbol. This is a pendergam of, of some sort. Or it's, or it's, and symbolizing uh, some sort of role born goddess of Venus. Okay? Venus. Venus. Venus is important later on. Do not want to spoil it. Okay? Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm just reading off the stuff here and there to occupy myself with. Probably might skip the parts where I'm silent. I see. Um, are you? It's you we're after. This one right here. Uh, to get a better view from our stuff over here. Uh, over here, over here, over here. There you are. Uh, not a very good view. There. There it is. That's a good view of it, I think. Okay, we cannot read it all. There. Okay. Another pyramid of letters. Which basically reads, they drained my soul and made it theirs. I drained my body to show you where I saw it. Okay, so in other words, it sounds like you this previous guy who wrote all these letters on the floor with our new eagle vision we got from Altair. And it was sending us a warning to anyone else they do this to. Yeah, this is some important date. The same date they plan to do that launch on. The 12th? Yeah, December 21st, 2022. Okay. And you know, according to what I read, the barcode also has the mark of the devil on it, the mark of the beast on it. Which is creepy. Now these are some sort of rings, I guess. For mean rings, whatever those are, I wonder. Come on. Oh, I just realized these Barbaro rings are the uh, stupid magic trick rings that people have trouble separating them, and some people can just separate them very easily. Stupid. Very stupid. But, I guess they're saying there are people connected to the Templars, maybe. Okay, anyway...
Okay, there's something, uh, something over here. Here, I think the next one is the thing right here. Nope, I got one. And even. Okay, give me a second, there's an animus laboratory over here. Right there, there it is. There's the next symbol. Okay, what does this thing? A step pyramid. Okay, bro, this is the Mayan Egypt stuff. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, and the next symbol is over here. Which is, this is basically uh, Mach Machu Picchu. That ancient city. On the mountain. Do not know much about Machu Picchu. Or know it's an ancient city that's deserted. Now, let's go into Desmond's room and find what these symbols mean. Okay, the symbol right on the top, right there, right on top corner, that one of the circle, is a Melbourne set. Okay, wherever that is. Oh, the formula. Come on, come on, come on, you stupid thing. Sorry, my thing is that I have problems. But I'm just using a tablet. Okay, let's see where else this is. See, we are all books containing thousands of pages, and within each of them lies an irreplaceable truth. I guess that explains the animus's power. Okay, the underneath the member uh, thing is actually something in Hebrew means the world to come. The world to come. Okay. Then the the thirteenth thing is actually the my encounter date of the. 21st of December 2012. And see. Let's see what else is there. There's some other things here. Mm, yeah, up there is the mountain calendar. My calendar date. Hey, just see what else is here. Yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah, and see. There's a formula for that symbol right there. That's one of the circle thing, I mean. Apparently there's also something about revelations in here. I just cannot see it. 
Anyway, just revelations about the Mark of the Beast. And... Let's see. Something else written here, I think. Yeah, Hebrew. We already explained that Hebrew underneath 13. Let's see. Over here. Uh, let's see. That's that right, uh, right next to 13 on the left. I left. Yes. That one, I think, is. Yes, that one. It is basically uh, Arabic. Uh, an earthquake that's titled in. Surah 99 of the Quran. Okay? It's still supposed to be... Oh, there you are. There's an Omega symbol right there, randomly, for whatever reason. Oh. Let's see. That right there is also part of Revelation. Okay, so the Templars are trying, okay, trying to get ultimate power to control everybody. That's what the Templars' goals are. Yeah, Templars' goals to control ultimate power. And the symbol that looks like um, fingerprints almost is actually a uh, Larza Attacker. I have no idea what that is. Okay, the Larza Attractor is some sort of uh, math equation. Apparently. Apparently, it's P equals 28. No, wait, no. Oh, this is. Oh, um. Okay, uh. Let me see. Not P, that's. But this is, um. That's P. Uh, that's. Uh, I, do I do not know my Greek alphabet, so. Some sort of P that looks that equals 28, some sort of like circle except for the line on the top, equal to 10, and theta is equal to 8 over 3. the math equation. Great. Math. <laughs> well, I'm, I was pretty good in math in high school, but now I'm rusty. Let's see. There's some other things randomly here. Up. 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 Hunger lies the answer. Well, dogs, I, I only know that some sort of serpent being in uh, South America. There's some sort of serpent like entity. So I hear it or something like that. Oh, okay. That is with. That top one says within Emperor Jajur Sin. And yeah. Includes ignorance, established rights, and ignoring established rights. Okay, this is about um, sins of destruction that were done by people that have no idea what they were doing, and that's about human sacrifices. Okay, creepy.
I've entered the Animus and never returned. Uh, okay. Who wrote that? Give me a second, I'm trying to translate some words. Anyway, the, the Chinese writing that's all over the place basically translates uh, into hearing is better than not, not hearing, observing is better than hearing, knowing is better than observing, and doing is better than knowing. <laughs> that makes sense. Some other Chinese means you reap what you sow. One who wants to read into his future simply needs to write his own present. Okay, that's pretty cryptic. A man without consideration must have near worry. This is very cryptic. As a human being, if you want to know the spiritual realm of Buddha, you have to observe, you have to know that everything you see in the world comes from your own mind. I guess that makes sense. One who does not forget what has, what was before, is the master of what comes after. Okay, thank you for the cryptic message of Precessor. Why can't you just be more truthful with what happened? Seriously. Anyway, let's get into the anime. And start the Templar hunt. Oh, no, no, no. Not right now. I forgot about email. Their email is still left to find. So let's show you the emails now. Punch through here. Punch, 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 punch. Let's see, there should be some more emails left to read. So let's read them. Okay, I reread those. No email right there. Just checking if there's any more new emails that were sent out after the animus stuff. Come on. Nope. Okay, nope. No new emails from you. What about Warren? I can't even read what's on his computer. This is new. Talks continue regarding aftermath of L11 breakout. Nearly six years later, no progress has been made in dealing with the repercussions of what history books now refer to as the second plague. With nearly 96% of its population dedicated over a three month period, the continent of Africa is now virtually uninhabited. Plans to divide up the continent have met with strong resistance and claims of neocolonialism. One protester has this to say, whether we are a hundred or a hundred million, this is still our home and no one has the right to take it from us. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. So,
Anything new? Anyway, this is different. One, I've just I finished my report on subject 16. You should take a look when you have some time, as I believe it violates my belief that we need to be treating them with greater care. Failure to do so will only result in farther breakdowns. I summarize things for now since I realize you're probably pretty busy. Prolonged exposure to the animus causes a bleeding effect within Subject 16's genetic structure. The result was a bleeding of genetic and real-time memory. He became unable to distinguish his own life from those of his ancestors, as witnessed with the incident in his room. Okay? I believe this effect is very similar to certain forms of multiple personality and delusional disorders. People who claim to be experimenting past lives or the presence of other minds within their own are quite possibly experiencing a natural occurring version of this bleeding effect. So the specific symptoms may vary from subject to subject. The end result is the same. They lose their minds. This is what I believe happened to subject 16. One of his ancestors seems to have been involved in an important event in the ancient Far East. The wall writing he left us defy any conventional explanation, though I'm not ready to dismay them just yet. Per your request, I've asked, our, asked for a linguist and a historian to research them farther in case there is some significance. I'll let you know if they come back to us with anything. I'll get you a full copy of the report so that you can review my findings when you have the time. I know this is not the important... Uh, this is not that important to you, Warren, but it would mean a lot to me if you just take a look about... Uh, look and think about it. We don't need to push them so hard. We don't need to kill them. From a purely practical perspective, there's no point in destroying the subject anyway. Once they're dead, their knowledge is lost to us forever. And we both know how dangerous that can be. Thanks for your time, Lucy. Okay. Interesting. So that was subject 16. 16 is ready. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Anyway, after the email stuff, let's go to the Animus. Start the Templar hunt. In the kingdom. Give me a second to... You won't be able to see any of it. Yeah, but we'll meet you when we all do the Kingdom's uh, Templars. That was the one we're doing first, so meet you then.